Oh, I feel like I'm pregnant. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What's today? Tuesday, I think. Tuesday? I hope so. <laughs> Here, out of work. Trying to grab some lunch really quick before I head out to the next spot. Larry is supposed to be watching like this thing called Creative Live, or she likes to watch it. it. Seems like it's down. I'm about to call her right now. I'm gonna call her for real this time. Well, I always call her, but you guys never seem to be in on some of the calls. So I'm gonna give her a call. She's just gonna probably be like, "Hey, Rooney." Like she says, Rooney, because. She likes to say my name like that on purpose. She thinks it's cute. She likes it. I like it. It's fine. <laughs> Let me give her a call, see how she's doing. The number or code you have dialed is incorrect. Please check the number or code and try again. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Hey guys, Larj here. Look at a hot mess. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I I always like roll my eyes at myself when I when I rewatch the vlogs and I see how crappy I look. But guys, this is how I look, okay? Without makeup, without combing my hair, without washing my face <laughs> half the time. So what happened this morning was I woke up. And I immediately started to work on um, my prom order forms, which I'm going to give to the senior advisor tomorrow at West Hill. And I'm so excited because Rudy, Dominique, and I are shooting West Hill's senior prom. Now, for those of you who don't know, that's a really big deal. Because it's like, prom photography is very tough. But once you get in, you're in. Like, once you're able to present yourself to a school saying, hey, I've shot this prom, then, y you know, you kind of have worked your way in. And I just have God to thank for this because if it weren't for someone on a Facebook page saying that they needed a military ball photographer uh, three years ago in 2012 and me taking the job as a new photographer, I would not have had... Um, the experience necessary to photograph a large amount of students in a portable studio all at, at one event, you know, and so now we are expecting maybe 200, I think 200 couples maximum, I'm not sure, and at Military Ball it's probably, well, I think they're like 100 and something people, so probably like 50 couples maximum at Military Ball, I'm not sure. But this is exciting, very, very exciting. And I am just so grateful that God is just doing so many things for us this year because, you know, obviously he's the one who gave us this baby. A lot of you don't know my story, but if you go to mamalarjay.com, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to advertise myself, I promise. But I don't feel like, you know, going into the whole thing right now. If you just go to mamalarjay.com and then it says Larjay's story, you can find out uh, what my whole story is with the pregnancy and why we're so grateful for this baby. But anyway, he knew that I'd be pregnant. And this year, he's just been throwing. I mean, God has always been very faithful and he's always been supplying all our needs for our business. We literally just sit and the business comes to us. <laughs> And this year we have been sitting even harder because, you know, I can't actively market myself the way I want to because I'm too tired. But he has just been throwing business my way, like literally throwing business my way. I have people calling me. They find me on Google because I'm on the first page of Google. And they just find me and they call me and they book me and they want me to shoot stuff for them. And we're also shooting so much volume photography, which is excellent because volume photography is a large sum of money all at at one time and it's perfect so I'm just really happy today that um, we're able to shoot the prom next week Friday in Greenwich and today I I had myself some breakfast baby tide was kicking like a crazy person when I was done with my eggs and waffles he was so happy and then I sat and I watched Jasmine star for an hour because I absolutely love her she's a wedding photographer and I'm talking a lot <laughs> no video is not good hey that's mine Actually, let me tell you whose it is. Whose is it? If you found it in the fridge next door, our fridge. No, I did it. It was in the fridge downstairs. Oh. All right, fine. That's my Rooney. He's home, guys. <laughs>
<laughs> Stop! Hey guys, Rudy's home as you saw in that last clip. We're down here trying to cook dinner and I'm feeling a little funny. And no, it was not because he was tickling my toes. <laughs> but tonight, Blue Apron package arrived. And we started out all the dinners and we decided to cook this today. Turkey kibba with cucumber salad and mint yogurt sauce. We had a really hard time deciding what to cook because all the dinners look really yummy. But we are um, on a time crunch because we're meeting with our event planner for the shower. I can't believe I'm saying that. That's so cool. And we have that meeting at around 9. So we want to be able to cook and eat and, and do everything before we have the meeting with her. I look awful, and I apologize for that. Rudy has already begun cooking, and I'm just gonna see what I can do to help. So I'm totally baffled as to why Rudy's eyes are not affected by the onions. He is permanently on onion duty. Fine, I'm just doing it right. I told you how to do it. No, Rudy, I tried it, and it, it's- no, Come here, with the, the fan Didn't thing. work. It didn't do it right. Didn't work. It's either that, or you do it with a candle, or you eat gum, and you'll be fine. Spoken like a true hater. What do you mean like a true hater? That's... <laughs> cooks do that. It's not a Haitian thing. Dinner is served! I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. This is what it looks like. Food in my belly. I'm gonna eat it. Hold it steady. Cause I'm gonna get it, get it, and feel you already. My name's not Freddy. My name's not Eddie. I don't know any other words out there. Oh God. All right, time to eat. Oh, wow. Dinner was pretty good. Dinner it was, was good. yeah, it was, it was really good. Didn't actually finish it. Well, you're gonna go back, so. Yeah. And that's partially because we're on our way to uh, meet with our event planner. It just feels so cool saying that. We're late because of dinner. We finished. She texted us as soon as um, as soon as we started eating. But I let her know that we're on our way. But dinner was good. You know, the cucumber yogurt mix was kind of weird, but it tasted good. And the apricots inside of the ground turkey was nice. It was really nice. So... Blue apron, I'll hand that one to you, it was, it was nice. Let's see what she has to say at this meeting and let's see how it goes. Tell them what you're doing. We're Yay. planning your baby shower. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and tell them the name of your business. K Event. So anybody who's watching and wanna take some stress out of you, send it over here, all right? I'll tell you my phone number, just, you can. Contact Lillian. Contact Lillian, all right? <laughs> We'll take that away from you. <laughs> oh man, that was such a great meeting. I got this thing from Starbucks. It's a, it's a new s'mores frappe. Is it good? Yeah, it's yummy. You want to taste it? Yeah, I got it with um, cream instead of coffee. I got it um, instead of decaf espresso. I got um, just cream, so it's good. Hey everybody. I did a vlog earlier and it got messed up. Everything I did totally messed up. I started it and my job called. So I was like, oh. Then I resumed it and then my phone was just like, no more space for video. So then I cleared out space for video and then it was like, you can't take pictures. And I'm like, I didn't want to take pictures anyway. So I threw the phone in the back seat. <laughs> so yeah, no vlog for me today, except this or whatever and probably added which I don't know. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna end our night. Uh, we had just, well, we didn't just leave Starbucks, but we left, we had a good time with our event planners for the baby shower. And I'm going to go to sleep soon or later or when I'm tired. Okay, bye.